Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part three of the Wonder This series. And if you haven't been following along, if you're new here, this is a video series of all of the DIYs I'm gonna be doing for my daughter's first birthday, which is less than a week from today. She is turning one and her birthday party is an under the sea theme, hence Wonder This series. Today we're gonna to make some really 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 cool jellyfish that i'm super excited about i think they look amazing i think you guys are gonna love this diy and they're super easy to make and this is a dollar tree diy so not only are they easy but they're super cheap and they look fantastic so what we need for this project is a bowl this is a fairly large bowl but I actually had bought this from the dollar store for an Easter photo shoot. We just have like, you know, very amateur photo shoots here at home. And this was for my daughter's Easter photo shoot. I thought it kind of, I bought two of them. And I thought it kind of looked like an egg that cracked in half because of this little wave detail. So I had these from that. I would probably suggest getting smaller ones for this particular project and you'll see why in a little bit but i have this bowl the leftover translucent iridescent premium quality tablecloth also from the dollar tree that i have been using in a couple of projects now as you'll see i originally did buy it as a tablecloth but it's managed to warp its way into other projects and not be a tablecloth at all so we're going to be using some of this scissors, a whole bunch of tape, some string to hang up, some string to hang up our jellyfish, and the secret weapon to making these jellyfish look so good, loofahs. These are these this really pretty pastel pink, which is perfect because it's in the color palette that I wanted for her birthday, and there's colorful little cut up sponges inside. How stinking cute is that? Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take our string. I would suggest using like fishing line instead if you have that because it's more secure. Um, but since I don't, I'm just using some thin string, you know, some sewing string and I'm doubling it up. Once I fold it in half, I'm just gonna do a little knot so it's a loop and then I can hang it. Once we do that, we're going to want to tape this onto the bottom of the bowl. So I'm actually just going to use a piece of scotch tape first. Make sure I'm taping it right in the middle. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some heavy duty masking tape. I want to make sure it's secure and that it doesn't just peel off the tape right away. All right, so I think that should be pretty secure. I might be overdoing it, but again, I don't want any, I don't want this falling on anyone, you know, while they're at the party. And then what we're gonna do, just because it'll be easier for us, um, and you'll see in a little bit, I'm just gonna tie this into a knot so it comes together at a single point. All right, now that I've got my little knot, we are going to take our tablecloth. And we're gonna cut a piece that's just big enough to, for the most part, cover this bowl. This part is definitely optional, but I think it just makes such a huge difference in the overall look of the jellyfish. So then what I want to do is find my center point of this. And then I'm going to make a little snip and this is where the string is going to be able to come out from. So I pull the string out like that and kind of line it up with where the two points of the string are. I know it's a little bit hard to see in the video, but there is the slit going this way and the tape is here. So the two pieces of string are coming 
from either side of my finger. So that's where the slit is allowing both ends of the tape to come out. So now that we've done that, we can flip over our bowl and we're just gonna secure this paper onto our bowl. Don't worry about getting the whole thing stuck down because again, we're just gonna be layering a little bit of the loofah on top of it. So right now we're just gonna take our loofah apart and we're gonna do that just by cutting off this rope. And when you cut it, you wanna make sure that you're not cutting any part of the loofah. You don't wanna mess up that net. You just wanna take this rope off. And then once you do that, you'll see that it unravels into this really cool curly net kind of thing, which is going to be our tentacle. I'm taking my loofah and then I'm putting it over the top. And I'm going to be very, very careful because I don't want to rip my loofah. Okay, so I'm not having the best of luck this time around. That's okay. I've, I've already ripped it a little bit and I don't want to keep on ripping it, so I'm just gonna chop this off and accept how far I've gotten. And then I'm just gonna secure down the places where it was a little bit ripped so it doesn't continue to rip. All right, so I think we'll be okay. This is what the underside is looking like right now. And then this is the top side. And now we wanna also make sure that we can pull out our string still. And then we're just gonna tape down the excess net so you don't see it pulling up. All right, I know that this whole process was hard to see because of just the material that we're using. Even, even a close up makes it hard to see, it's just, the iridescency, I mean, it's what we're working with. But again, this whole layer of the iridescent film and the layer of the net is completely optional. I just really like the look of it. I think it makes the jellyfish look very cohesive. But so this is the head of our jellyfish and now we just need to work on the legs. So we still have this left over. We're just gonna put this aside for now and then we are gonna unravel our second loofah also. Okay, now we are going to put these tentacles together. So I'm gonna find the ends of both of these guys. So we take these two together. We'll take these two together. And then I actually like to have them facing each other, having have the ends facing each other. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna take a twist tie, but you can use tape if you want. I happen to have this twist tie handy. So I'm just gonna twist the ends together, making sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't fall apart. And then I'll just wrap these ends just to get it out of the way. So now we have tentacles coming out of both sides. And obviously we cut off some of one of the one of the tentacles because we used it to cover this bowl. So I'm just gonna find the middle of this whole thing. So I'm making sure they are the same length. And this is about the point where they're the same length. And I'm just gonna tape this down to the very middle of our bowl using the heavy duty tape again. And just like that, then I'll add some more tape to secure it down even more. Now, because these are gonna be hanging pretty high, people are gonna be able to look up and see inside the bowl. So I kind of wanna disguise that a little bit. So I'm gonna disguise that by adding a little bit more of the iridescent film just inside of the bowl. Take a little bit more tape. 
and then kind of just randomly tape the ends in. And this part definitely doesn't have to be perfect. It's really just gonna blend it all together. And then once you've done that, you're gonna wanna hang it upside down to see if there's any pieces like this that's kind of really hanging out. And you wanna just play with it to tuck it in a little bit more or tape it a little bit more. And this is the final product. So the tentacles are nice and long. It goes all the way down here. Can't even get it fully in the in the shot. But it has that nice little like swirl effect that tentacles have, so it looks very natural. I think it has these really fun colorful sponges inside, which isn't very natural, but it adds to the whole whimsy of her party. It has this really great iridescent head of the jelly and underneath the jelly as well so it really looks like the tentacles are coming from inside the body all right so that is another diy to check off my to-do list for this week again we have less than a week it is crunch time you guys but we are one step closer to nearing that finish line and having this birthday party already for my daughter I hope you guys love this DIY as much as I do. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a huge thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and that notification button. I promise you there are so many more DIYs regarding this whole theme coming your way and you're going to want to see how it all plays out in the end. I'm going to do a fun little video the day of just to show you, you know, how everything works together and of course show you the birthday girl herself so make sure you subscribe but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next video